In this guitar lesson, we're going to work on some country guitar riffs and country strumming patterns in the style of Charlie Daniels. And we're going to do this using his song called Long Haired Country Boy. And uh, by the way, everything that we're going to work on today will be in drop D tuning, which will give you that really nice you know, outlaw country sound that we're all going for. So uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to pull up tablature on the screen and uh, I'm going to first uh, show you this little intro guitar riff in the style of Charlie Daniels and then we'll go from there start working on some different strumming patterns and I'll show you some other guitar riffs. So here's the first line of the tablature for this intro riff. Let me play it for you real quick so you can hear it. So let's take a look at this in a little more detail. Um, in the very first measure, all you got to do with your fretting hand is form the D major open chord. And with your picking hand, we'll just do pick, strum, pick, strum. Pick, strum, pick, strum. And that's the first measure. And then let's look at the second measure. One more time. Hammer, pick, pick, bend, pick. Hammer, pick, pick, bend, pick. You see there with my fretting hand, I'm using my pointer finger for the hammer on. Hammer, pick, pick, and then back to the pointer again for that note. And then the bend, try using your ring finger for that little bend. And I just use my ring finger and just pull the string down a little bit to bend the note up. And you're going to stop the note at the top of the bend. In other words, bend it up and then mute that note with your pick. You know, to mute that note at the top. I just put my pick right back down on that fourth string and then pick the open fourth string right after the bend. So hopefully that makes sense there. So pause the video if you need to work on that second measure a little bit. Now let's check out the third measure. all eighth notes and let me play this nice and slow and take a real close look at my fretting hand to see what fingers I'm using here in this third measure starting with the pointer finger on that fifth fret third string so see that it's first half of it pointer open ring open our pointer finger for the you know the second half of that measure just using all pointer finger just working it down the neck so that's the third measure and then let's check out the fourth measure that's it hammer pick pick hammer pick pick I just use my pointer finger, my fretting hand for that part. All right, now let's play this entire line all together so you can hear it once more, starting in the first measure. One, two, three, four. just have one more line of tablature to learn. We got measures five through eight. Sounds like this. All 
All right, so in measure five, uh, again, we're, all you gotta do with your fretting hand is form that D major chord. And in measure five, we're just doing some you know, pretty straightforward you know, country and bluegrass rhythm. And the strumming pattern for measure five over that D chord, it'll go pick down, pick up, down, up, just like that. Pick down, pick up, down, up, and that's it. Take note that we are alternating those bass note picks, picking on the fourth string first, the pick down to the fifth string there. Alright, now we got measure six, which sounds like this. Basically here in measure six, we're starting out forming the D chord, doing a pick strong. And then we got this little riff. Pick, 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 pick. And to play that little riff, all you got to do is just, uh, you know, you're already holding that D chord. All you got to do to play the riff, just lift up your middle finger and hit those notes there. Middle, open, middle, open. And you're leaving the rest of that D chord planted, just lifting the middle. The reason you're leaving the rest of the D chord planted is because we're going straight back to the D chord in measure seven. See there in measure seven, we're doing that same strumming pattern over the D chord. Pick, down, pick, up, down, up. So let's play measures five, six, and seven all together. Measure eight. Measure eight. Similar concept here. Holding the D chord, and we'll do pick, strum, hammer, pick. That hammer on right there, you're just using your middle finger. You know, lifting that middle finger up out of the D chord. Same type of way we did earlier. And that's how you play the entire intro riff. So uh, let's go back to the beginning of that intro riff and play through the entire thing so you can listen to it one more time all the way through. So uh, here we go. I'll count us in four counts. One, two, three, four. While we got the second line of the tablature on the screen here, let's look at measures five and seven one more time. And remember, those are the measures where we're holding the D major chord and we're doing that country strumming pattern. The pick, down, pick, up, down, up. Remember? Pick. Um, one thing I wanted to show you all real quick, you know, if that strumming pattern is a little too much for you right now and you're having a trouble, you know, hard time getting that nice and smooth, um, one thing you can do instead is just do pick down, pick down. Just keep it simple with a little pick, strum, pick, strum over that D chord. And it still sounds really good. Let me show you real quick what it sounds like. Let's play measures five through eight with the pick down, pick down. So now we got down this intro riff. In the uh, next part of the lesson, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a few different country strumming patterns and we'll get some practice with these strumming patterns. And then after that, I'll show you some really awesome country guitar riffs in the style of Charlie Daniels. And all these guitar riffs, they're going to be in drop D tuning and they're going to have that nice outlaw country sound to them. So let's check out some strumming patterns and chord progressions. And again, we're in drop D tuning, and drop D tuning works so well for this type of uh, this type of playing here, just because you can play the open D chord and you can let all six strings ring out, and it's got that nice 
bassy sound and a lot of times what I like doing is just lifting up my middle finger out of that D chord and I can you can use your middle finger on the third fret drop D string and you can do that little bend to the open and it just sounds so good lots of different things you can do in the drop D Use my middle finger on the third fret. Fourth string, open, fifth string, open, sixth string, open. So much you can do right there just with that middle finger as far as chord embellishments go.